Today we're off to Wind Hill Bike Park uh, near Warminster from and the take the exit. so today we're off to Wind Hill Bike Park near Warminster and we're going to see what that park is about because it seems to be on a lot of the YouTube videos of a really good place to go so we're going to investigate and see what it's like and we'll update you as we get there. bike park parking for mountain bikes and it's in the middle of the woods and it's on most GPS systems however if you don't know where it is you'd be a bit confused so it's right in the middle of the woods next to Long Leak by uh, Safari Long Leak Safari and there's two sets of concrete on the side and just find somewhere to park All right, so we've got ourselves ready at the uh, Windhill Bike Park. Now we're looking at going to get to the trailhead, which is quite a track, so you need to know what you're doing. So you go to the corner of the bike park. Hey guys, how you doing? And at the corner of the bike, of the, uh, at the corner of the car park, there's a little trail like this. This will take us through to the fire road. wet at the moment. So many people came through here yesterday on a Saturday. And then you get to the fire road. Now what we've got to do is we've got to turn Second, left, and straight down the road. So as we come down here to the cabin, this is the start. And you need to make sure that you register as a member, and then you do a separate registration for a day pass. A uh, day pass is like 10 pounds, it's not really that much. But if you don't do it, there's very little reception here to do it on your mobile phone while you're standing here. So try and prepare yourself before you even turn up here. And once you do all the registration and stuff, they'll give you a thing to put on your handlebar with the colors to say, all right, you can go round, 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 and nobody will really checking you. And then once you come out of there, you come up this road up here, and you see up there, there's a ramp and you can go either way off the ramp for all the trails. So all the trails start and finish at the same place. So that's where you start. Okay, this time we're gonna do a blue run right to the bottom. Show you guys what the blue run is like. Just stay to the uh, right of every fork.
the bottom of the trail where they all meet. So you can ride up the trail road. Now we're going to do a pass the duchy, try the other red on the opposite side. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so now we're going to try Empuru, which is half blue and half red. Ready?
So I'm going up again, but this time I'm going to the red track. <laughs> no, this thing is seriously heavy. <laughs> So that's it, we're all packed up and ready to go after doing Windhill for two days and really good place to learn how to do jumps and how to um, get that technique down because there's blue, red and they progressively get harder. Um, I really liked it, it's all downhill so you've got to pedal up the hills and just ride downhill as it were. Um, Sherry's here, we're all packed up and ready to go. So, how did Sherry get on? Um, good. Good. I learned how to uh, jump a little bit, but getting there. It's good. Thanks for teaching me, babe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's it from us. Cheers. Bye bye.